So in question four, it says there are 18,500 gallons of fuel in a fuel tank, and it says one gallon is four and a half litres. And that's the first thing I want to concentrate on. So if we have 18,500 gallons, then if we want to convert that into litres, don't forget this part of the question here, then we want to times that by 4.5. So you've got a calculator. Um, what I would do without a calculator um, to help those with their number skills, if you don't want to see this bit, then just skip ahead. I would do 185 times 45, like so. And then I'd have 62, 37 and 6, that's 43, 4 and 4 is 8, so that's 8, 3, 2, 5, but I know I had nearly 20,000 times 5, which is nearly 100,000, and to make this as an order of magnitude close to 100,000, I would write not 8, 3, 2, 5, but 83,250. So you can do that on the calculator and get the same answer anyway. So that's how many litres we're looking at here. And then it says that fuel is pumped from the fuel tank into the plane at a rate of 1,700 litres per minute. So the idea behind this now is to test your division skills. And of course, you can use the calculator. That's what it's for. So if we do 83,250 and we divide that by 1,700, then you can use the calculator. I'm not going to do the long division here, but if I was going to do it, I'd start the question off by doing 17s into 8,325 and use my skills of estimation. So my calculator gives an answer of 48.9705882 and so on. And it says it wants the answer to the nearest minute, so I think it would be appropriate to say 49 minutes. And I'm going to write there to the nearest minute. So that question, just testing your conversions between gallons and litres, multiplication and division with a calculator. And of course, the most difficult part of this whole question is to actually read the question and understand what it's asking you. So for this question, question five, Selena and Zoe both sing in a band and you've got to work out the difference in their singing times. And it does say that Selena sings for more minutes than Zoe, which is helpful. So if you make a mistake and it works out that Zoe would sing more, then you'd know you've made a mistake here. So it's giving you some clue at least. And it's a calculator paper as well. So let's start out with um, Selena. And she sings for 65% of the 80 minutes. Now, without a calculator, you could do things like find 10%, which is 8, 20%, 16, 40%, 32. Do the 20 and the 40 to get 48. Find the 5% here, which is 4, and add it on and get 52 minutes. I would say, but you've got a calculator, so a nice little trick here is to change the 65% into 0 0.65. The of becomes times, of course, and we've got 0 0.65 times 80, and that will also give you 52 minutes. Now, if we look at um, Zoe now, she sings for 5 eighths of the 80 minutes. Now, there are a couple of ways you can have a look at that, and with or without a calculator. You can do 5 times the 80, which is 400, and then divide it by the 8, and that will give you 50. Or you can write 5 eighths times 80 whole ones, and switch the denominators around, because 8 times 1 is the same as 1 times 8 and have 5 whole ones times 80 eighths. Do a bit of cancellation, 8 into 80 is 10, and you've got 5 times the 10, which is also 50 minutes. 
So you've got to work out the difference in singing time and therefore we'd have 52 minus the 50 which is 2 minutes difference. Okay, so that's question 5. Now, question 6, I know for students that I've taught this year that this question was by far the question that was answered um, the worst. I'm not quite sure exactly why that is. It's probably more down to my fault than theirs. But here's an explanation anyway. And let's see what answer we get and see if you understand. Well, we want a rectangle has an area of four meters squares. So let's have a look about one meter square to start with. And that's gonna be a square. So if we draw one meter square out, then that's going to be one meter by one meter. And that area is gonna be one meter square. Okay, so that's the first thing to understand. Now if I draw the same diagram representation of that square, and I can say, well, that's 100 centimetres by 100 centimetres, i.e. a metre by a metre, a metre square. And you can use your calculator or realise that we're going to have here 10,000 centimetre squares. And that was for one metre square. So if we had a rectangle, and that rectangle can have many different um, orientations, we could have one of these metre squares here represented in a small red square and we could have a rectangle looking like this. We could have one turned 90 degrees. A rectangle incidentally can also be um, a square. It's a, su a subset of a rectangle is a square. So there's many different orientations you can have but to cut to the quick, if we want an area of four metre squares then we really want to have four of these and four lots of 10,000 is 40,000 centimetre squares. So that's the explanation that I would give for question six.